Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Tuesday, November the 21st, 2017. My name is Doug McKay. I am the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses for the day. This is a subscription room. If you're interested in checking in, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website. There's no blog. This is not a commercial venture. We do everything live here in the go-to, and then we do live trading and analysis during the course of the trading day. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. So taking a look at yesterday, yesterday our hypothesis was an open auction in range, a move down to the uh, 76 area, 77 being the microcomposite VPOC. Uh, we are looking for a bounce somewhere between the 77 and the 73. Uh, buyers stepped in, rotated us up. Our target was the 84 to 85 level, more specifically the naked VPOC at 84.75 and the naked close at 85. Excuse me for one second. And, uh, I mean, basically, we got hypo one. We said we were looking for a 9 to 10 point range. We weren't looking for a lot. We were looking to come back and close somewhere in the 80 area. And it looked like we were going to get that. And uh, uh, not exactly uh, 80. I think we closed at 82. We closed at 82 and a quarter. Um, so, uh, you know, very balanced day. Again, the most important thing about yesterday, gang, is the shift in the microcomposite VPOC, the three-day microcomposite VPOC. Uh, so first we had the shift last week of the uh, longer-term microcomposite VPOC from the 49 to the 77. That was our first clue. Then we came up here and we were balancing and if I take the, v, uh, the profile and just put it over the two days, we are accepting value higher at the 80.50. And then yesterday we came up and that shifted even higher to the 81.75, 82 area. And last night going into the close, you know, I was, I was saying that uh, to watch the Globex this week, and the Globex is likely to make the moves. We had a seven point range. Uh, yesterday during the course of the trading day, what do we get? We get over a uh, over a, uh, a ten point move already, um, you know, in the Globex. So they're starting to make the moves in the Globex. You know, I was uh, Marvin and I were talking last night, and uh, I was saying that you know this long time 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 frame rally that we've been in is one of the biggest and longest in history and it wouldn't surprise me that we see one of the biggest and uh, and most violent uh, blow off tops as well so we are now trading you know at 91 we're only uh, you know three uh, three and a half points thereabouts to uh, a all-time high. I'm expecting that the all-time high is going to get taken out today, or we're going to have a, a false uh, push down uh, to shake out the loose hands. We are going to open up outside of range and outside of value. So taking a look at the news, there's really not a lot of economic news uh, today. There is existing home sales. Uh, that could be it. We've got ECB uh, career uh, speaking at uh, 10 o'clock as well, and then at 11.30, the four-week bill auction, and uh, then at uh, 2.35, the API weekly crude oil output. Uh, and that's about it uh, in terms of, uh, of during the course of the day. Yellen is going to be speaking at 6 o'clock, so again, that's going to bring the, uh, the Globex uh, into play as well. So uh, oops. Taking a look at the macro to micro, I always like to start with a 
monthly chart, take a look at where we are in the time frame. You know, do we have good slope and separation of the nine and the uh, nine EMA and the 20 SMA strength of trend, or is it being challenged uh, or violated? Uh, and then basically looking at uh, whatever uh, chart patterns I'm seeing. We've been in this upward sloping fork on the monthly for quite some time, uh, pretty much all year. Uh, we've we really broke out in January and we've just been riding this up. And one of the strongest trends we've one we've been one time framing up. This is our 13th month now of one time framing up on uh, on the monthly. So this trend is intact and strong and about to go make a new all time high. On the weekly, you know, we had some weakness coming in. They came right back to the nine EMA and bounced. Uh, last week and now we're above last week's high uh, and coming up to the all-time high. Good slope, good separation trend is very much intact on the weekly. On the daily, it was looking like we were going to break down and then we get that move up on uh, <clears throat> on Thursday of last week. We balance out and uh, you know so far you know we're coming up and uh, and breaking above uh, last week's high and uh, coming up and again uh you know we did violate the trend but they took a rate right back in one day uh this is how strong the buy the dip buyers are on the four hour <clears throat> we were starting a downward trend they took it back uh three uh rth sessions ago fell back came back filled the uh the uh naked cross down here put in a higher low um we got a bit of a uh, inverted head and shoulder pattern going on here, uh, and you know here we are going to make new all-time highs. I'm just looking to see where I would put the uh, the neckline. I would put the neckline right about 84. So if we take a look at what the uh, possible extension is on this pattern. I might as well draw the whole thing, right? Again, this is just a loose drawing. You can use this right here if you want. You could use this right here. I'm, I'm looking at this for the left shoulder for the right uh, the head and this for the right shoulder um, but you could use this as well it doesn't really matter uh, it's just where you're gonna where you're gonna draw your neckline uh, that gives a primary target up here at 2602 now interesting thing about this is 2603 uh, and a quarter is our weekly upside ATR target. Our full session weekly average true range is running at 35.36 right now. So uh, basically our upside uh, from the low that we put in at uh, 67.75 it takes us up to that 26.03 and a quarter area. And you can see that we're, uh, we're coming up onto our first target here which will be that 95.50. That 95.50 happens to be the uh, daily upside ATR uh, target. So interesting, uh, you know, definitely think that, uh, you know, we're, we're back in this upward trend. Taking a look at the 30 minute, you've gone parabolic. We've got a very strong move up in the uh and since the uh, european again these moves have been happening in the european uh session um so very strong and then on the five minute you can see that uh we're basically just riding the nine ema on the five uh and uh and uh, pushing up a little bit of a foobar mr sneaky tech gap that uh closed and then we uh, we started riding the, the line back up. So if we take a look at the big picture, you know, again, we're still, uh, you know, in this upward trend. You know, if you draw a trend line, you know, 
uh, you know, we're back in the upward trend. We've broken out of value. The value area high is uh, up here at the 87. We're going to have a gap up uh, right now. If we opened up at the 91.50 area, our gap, half gap close is going to be, half gap is going to be 86.75. Um, we have the three-day of value. Uh, this is what we want to see holding. It takes us above the, uh, the last three days of, uh, of balance and takes us up to where they tried to hold value the last time they uh, tried to take out that unequalized high at 94.50. So if we can hold that, you know, looking for this 93.50 to get taken out, and then push into that 94.50 and most likely higher today. Uh, so on the downside, we're looking at 87 uh, area, the 85 area, the 81.50, and then back at the 77 with 80 being our key line in the sand uh, today. Uh, for a bigger moon because if we come all the way back down to the 80 we're likely to push through to the 7750 if not lower down towards that 73 to 71 area uh sky's the limit uh, to the top side we're uh, we're less than 10 points away from 2600 i think that 2600 is likely going to get uh, uh challenged today uh if we can hold above the 90 uh, 50 area. So in terms of you know where we're at, uh, you know we're trading right at the you know the Globex highs like where you were yesterday. We're likely to see a new uh, overnight high put in. We we created a weak high up here at 91.75. This is looking very much like yesterday, and we didn't really dip back much yesterday although we do have a much thinner profile uh below uh so in terms of levels let's uh you know take a look at the levels there's the first level that really comes into play is that 87 and we got the half back i'm just going to mark it here i'm going to move this to 8675 and uh, just note that it's also half back and then uh, before that we do have the 90 it's not really let me just got this 88 50 area. So I'm going to use 88.50. And then above, there's just absolutely nothing. Uh, below the 86, I'm looking for a move back into this 84 area. You know, 80, 84 is going to be, uh, you know, a trade level because if we get back inside, we're likely to push down to the value area high at 83, but more likely even. Uh, down here or to the gap close at 82 and a quarter, but the target will be here. Our key line in the sand shifts up. It's going to be the value area uh, <clears throat> low and the open from yesterday. And then below that, <clears throat> we'll be targeting that 77 and 76 area down here. Pretty, pretty simple. <coughs> uh, key support comes in at 70 now. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get to the hypotheses. Pretty simple, gang. We're going to have an open auction out of range. So one of two things, we got to be looking for an open drive or an open test drive. Uh, I don't think we're going to get an uh, open rejection reverse, although we could with a little bit of a blow off. But I'm looking for a open auction out of range. I'm looking for, uh, you know, our inventory right now overnight. 
is about 75% to 80% net long. Um, so we could see some balancing on the open. And I'm looking for a pullback down into the 90 area, possibly down to the half gap fill. And then I'm looking for responsive, or sorry, initiative buyers to step in uh, somewhere between the 87 to the uh, 84 area, possibly even hold the 88, uh, 75 area uh, and just, uh, you know, push us up. And I'm looking for a push through up to the daily ATR and then uh, push up and then maybe touch the 2600. 2600 has got to be uh, noted and then possibly rotate back down and come back and balance and uh, close somewhere in around the 90 area, uh, you know, up, up back in that three day balance that we uh, we put in the last time we went up to put the all time high. Hypo two is a open uh, test drive or an open drive. And I'm looking for them to, to get right up, put new all time highs, come in and battle this 2600, push through 2600 and then fail and come back and close somewhere around the 95 to 98 area uh, as a close, possibly even back to the uh, to 91 area again, but uh, a bigger move up and a trend up to test into the 2600s. Hypo 3 is going to be an open auction out of range. They push up, take out the all-time high, uh, and then fail and come back down here chop around in the 86 area and then fail and come down and uh, come down and uh, take out this 81 area and close somewhere in around that uh, that uh, 8175 that is hypo uh, three hypo four is a uh, sellers to step in responsive sellers to step in rotate us down into the 81, chop around here and then fail and come down and test the 70 level again, base and start working our way back up, closing somewhere around 77. Uh, I'm, spec I'm expecting some range expansion today. We already have 12 and a half points of range. Uh, our, uh, our daily ATR is within target. Our downside daily ATR right now off of the uh, overnight high, which was just put in, so our overnight high uh, is now 92 and a quarter. And off of that 92 and a quarter, our downside daily ATR, our 20 period full session ATR is running at 16.24. So our downside daily ATR is down at 76. And our overnight low is 79 and a quarter. I guess that's just not going to, it's going to get covered up a bit by the, uh, uh, value area low. Um, we can just move it down to the 79.75, which is fine because that's where the uh, and 79 and a quarter is where the uh, the uh, CLVN is. You know what? Let's go down there and use that because that's just right on the overnight uh, low as well. All right. <clears throat> so um, taking a look at gold. Oh, we've got to put the VPOC in, too. Oh, we might get a VPOC shift, so I'm going to leave it out. But right now, it's down 81. Um, I'll put it in here just so that we have it marked for the time being. But it's likely going to shift up uh, if we put some more volume in, in this 90 and a quarter area. In terms of gold, well, if we're blowing off on in the indices, uh, we're back at the uh, composite VPOC area. You know, we're right between that 77, 76. I don't think if 74 holds that uh, we're going to hold this level. I think we're going to take a dip down. And it's all important, 63. 
<clears throat> has got a hold or else we could see a free fall. Um, you know, this is, you know, it looked like they're finally going to, you know, accept the basing and, 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 and make the move up. And then yesterday they took all that move back and we had a $23 move down, uh, you know, uh, in gold. It's just incredible. Uh, but we're chopping around the magnet. This is the most traded price uh, going all the way back to 2008. You can see why it is a magnet. It, uh, it's creating uh, this shorter time frame uh, balance here, just uh, slightly higher at the 78 area. So key levels to watch today doesn't change. 70, uh, I'm moving the 72 up to 74, but 74, 68, 63, and then free fall. Uh, if we can hold the 76 area and, uh, and accept the 78, then the upside, of course, is the 81, 85, and a break above 89 should see us back up in the 91 to 93 area. So that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.